team leader. I led the team software design focusing on vision models, decision making, and PID control. With experience in our uh, from 20, uh, 2024 2026, uh, I worked on both autonomous and teleport and teleoperated uh, robots while ensuring smooth uh, inter integration with hardware. I am Mohamed Nadi. My role is bending, testing, and containing the robot structure. I focus on alignment, stability, and functionality to keep the robot performing reliably in trials. Hello, I'm Mohamed Nadi. I specialize in uh, control uh, algorithms, PID motor tuning, and uh, Arduino sensor integration. Uh, I participated in uh, RoboCup Egypt 2024 and Gwenigan 2025. Uh, I focus on uh, precise navigation uh, and really reliable uh, robot uh, performance. Hello, my, uh, I am from Movement. I I design and integrate mechanical and electrical subsystem like chassis, actuators, and sensors. Uh, I uh, ensure the robot is durable, uh, modular, and uh, stable. We also, while also uh, supporting the team uh, with the uh, problem solving. This sampling showcases a highly integrated and modular system. On its cover, you can see our control units, an Arduino for central processing, and an L298N motor driver to precisely control our two high traction 85mm wheels. The design features a robust chassis and a sophisticated multi power arm assembly, driven by servo motors for precise and dynamic movement. We have also integrated a Raspberry Pi for advanced computing and, uh, and a dedicated power management a system with a power bank to ensure stable operation. To optimize performance, we have utilized SolidWorks tools like Speedback for handling complex assemblies smoothly and MBD for defining our model data. We have also begun motion studies to stimulate and validate our robot's actions on the field. This isn't just a collection of parts. It's a carefully mated and engineered system designed for agility, strength, and intelligence. We are confident it's a strong contender for the challenge ahead. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to present the, the PCB design that I created using KiCad. As you can see on the screen, this is a compact and, all, and organized print circuit board that I designed for my project called Robot. The main, the main goal of this board is to connect and control several compro co components efficient, efficiently, efficiently while keeping the layouts clean and easy to manufacture. The board is composed of two layers, the top layer, FCU, and the bottom layer, BCU. Right now, the blue color represents the bottom copper layer, where most of the rafting is done. Is done. The top layer is used mainly is used mainly for connections that could couldn't be completed on the bottom side. Each component for footprint is clearly placed. You can see the resistor, transistor, connectors, and pin headers arranged in a vertical structure. This makes the signal flow straightforward from top to the bottom. I also used these uh, these to connect to connect trans trans traces between the two copper layers. Around the board, you can notice the edge cuts defining the shape and dimensions of the PCB. You uh, have also included a ground plane to reduce electrical no noise and improve signal stability. The track width is set to 1mm, 
which is uh, which is suitable for carrying moderate co uh, moderate current and ensure good re uh, reliability. The routing is optimized to avoid crossings and to keep paths as short as possible, which helps minimize the resistance and, it, uh, and interference. Finally, the overall design respects standard, uh, respects standard PCB design rules, such as clearance, between bags and components, it, and it's ready for, fa for fabrication. In summary, this PCB is efficient, is efficient compact, and well organized, perfect for small robotics or automation only. Now, let's move on to the PCB layout, which, which was also designed using KICAM. Starting from the left, we have the ultrasonic sensor connection. It's a four-pin connector with PCC, ring, echo, and GND pins. This sensor allows the robot to measure distance and detect obstacles in front of it. The, signal, the signals for this connector go, uh, for this, for this connector go dir directly to the microcontroller, which, which processes the distance information. Below that, there is, an, uh, there is an LED indicator connected through a resistor and capacitor. Uh, this small circle acts as power indicator or status LED, showing that the board is powered on and it is powered on and stable. Moving to the middle section, we have five inputs. We have five input pins labeled to uh, with labeled A and one, two, A and five. These are control signals coming from the microcontroller. Each input is connected to the input side of an, of an optocoupler. Uh, the optocouplers are used for electrical isolation, meaning they protect the control side from high current or voltage, or, or voltage spikes that could occur uh, on the motor side. Each optocoupler output then drives a servo motor model. You can see here five servers connection, uh, connections labeled from more, one, uh, more server 1 to more server 5. Each connector provides three pins, PM, PWM, PCC, and GND, to control the rotation of each server. The resistors connected to the off-coupler are used to limit a connect, uh, current and pull signals to stable logic levels ensuring smooth and, re and reliable operation of each channel. Finally, all the components are powered from the common VCC and GND rail, which simplifies the, the wiring and ensures consistent voltage to all, to all arms of the server. Overall, this schematic provides safe and efficient control of multiple servers. Uh, signal models and distance sensor, making a deal for, uh, for small autonomous, autonomous robot or robotic arm application.